is tea time cheers i am patricia moore and i come out here week to week to spill my tea it is not gossip it is the good news that i'm sharing with you as i walk this journey grow and learn and experience jesus christ for myself as i grow intimately with god in hopes that you will seek out god for yourself that you will build your own relationship and you will get to know him like really know him intimately for yourself what are we talking about this week it is all mental what do i mean well for the past two weeks i've been doing my tea time and you've seen me in my workout gear working out and i have pushed myself to be uncomfortable i am very comfortable in my home i know where stuff is i even pretty much know the workouts and the routines even when it's challenging it's still in my comfort level because I'm used to the system that I've been in for so many years. And I love my at-home workouts. However, I was asked to come with my friend and try something new, which was CrossFit. And oh my God, let me tell you something. I like a challenge, but when I tell you this is challenging me in a way, like I said, because I've never done it before. And the day we went, they were like, you picked the perfect day to come because he had a list on this whiteboard. And all I could think of my head is what have I gotten myself into? I'm not doing that. Heck to the no, no, no. Where is the modification? I just need the modifications because he wanted us to do a push-up headstand. And all I could think about was how my shoulder had been bothering me, how I have a pinched nerve. I thought about why I couldn't do it. If I flip over, I'll come up dizzy. Like, I'm just thinking of, I'm out thinking myself. Like, it's all in my head, right? And when I go to the gym or when I go anywhere, I'm not competing against what somebody else can do. I'm not looking around like, well, if she could do it, I could do it too. That's not going through my head. I'm only thinking about my capacity, what I will and won't do, like out talking myself. But then once we started getting into the workout, some kept like pushing me and egging me, like, just try it. You don't even know if you can't do it. You've never tried it. So I went to the wall and I flipped over and my legs kept falling back down. And then I flipped over again and my legs kept falling back down. Finally, I flipped and my legs stayed up. Then I was like, okay, I got to try to do this push-up. The coach came over there, the trainer came over and he said, just try two. I did two. He said, now what I want you to do is I want you to do five reps no not five reps i want you to do five of those so five sets of two push-ups on a headstand and i did it but i wouldn't have known that i could do it had i not put myself in position and over talked my thoughts because for me everything about being uncomfortable right putting myself in uncomfortable starts in the mind we don't like it. We're looking for modifications. We're looking for alternatives because we don't want to push ourselves outside of our comfort zone. But we don't even know if we can do it because we don't even try. And I could not leave that gym not knowing if I could do those headstand push-ups. And what was cool about it is we had the right trainer that came alongside of me and was like, listen, this is where I want you to start. He didn't try to push me to do the goal. The goal was 10 headstands, five sets. He said, I'm going to start you here, baby steps. He was like, you were willing to get in there. You were willing to make yourself uncomfortable. You were willing to push past the pain and try. And that's the same thing God tells us. If you're willing to get in there, I'll take you slowly at your pace because I'm observing. I know what you can do, but I just need you to be willing to put yourself out there. Do you know, not only did I did do it, but I came back a second week. I went again this week and here he goes again with those headstands. He wanted us to crawl up the wall and do shoulder taps while we're standing in a headstand position, right? And then he wanted us to crawl back up the wall and hold it for a minute. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but it's crazy. So I did it. And do you know what he told me? He said, I was the first person ever that held it for one minute. Not many people were able to hold themselves against the wall in a headstand position for a minute. And not only that, it was my second week coming. And I told him what motivates me, what pushes me in my workouts 
is if I can challenge myself, if I can push myself in uncomfortable situations in this workout, I can use that in the challenges of life. And he agreed. He said, what people don't understand is what you conquer in your workouts can carry over to life outside. If I push myself so hard in a gym, I'm training myself for what I have to deal with day in and day out. And I'm learning to conquer myself in different scenarios. Like I've moved myself out of my house, just staying at home working out to being uncomfortable in a new environment. But I'm surrounded by support. I'm surrounded by other people who believe in themselves and believe in that we can do it and doing it at their own pace. It's so many different ethnicities and ages in this CrossFit, but everybody is so positive. And you don't know that until you put yourself out there. So I admonish you to know that if you can push yourself in every other area, find something to challenge yourself. Just try it because you don't know what God has waiting for you. You don't know the support God has for you to get through that challenging moment. You don't know if you can achieve it. You might be the first to ever do it, to be the cycle breaker, to be the, the trauma breaker to be the entrepreneur, to be the person who thrives, the first to salvation. But you have to get out there. This is what I want to leave you with. Conquer your thoughts and you will discover how strong you really are. Once you make an attempt to step out of your thoughts and push through, you may realize the adjustments that need to be made. Because when I tried it, I had to only start with two and then I'll build up to 10. There's adjustments when you try something. You're not going to get out there and be able to do it all at once. But what you do is you realize what you need to work towards because we're always a work in progress. But now you know what you need to work towards. There's a scripture, Philippians 4, 8, that says, and it's summarized. When negativity or doubt try to take up space in our minds, we must counter those thoughts with God's word and speak his truth to every lie. The lie was, oh, my shoulder. Oh, my pinch nerve. Oh, I'll get dizzy. No, the truth is I can do all things. I can challenge myself and I can push through. I don't even know what I can do until I try it. Don't stop at what I can't do. Now, some people may need modifications. That is okay. But at least, at least I'm not believing the lie. It goes on to say, keep putting into practice all you've learned and received from me, thus says the Lord. Everything you heard and saw from me doing, what did Christ do? He put himself in a very uncomfortable position. He came to this world to be uncomfortable. Why? So we could be comfortable in him. Not comfortable in the world, but uncomfortable in this world so we can have the comforts in him. Then what happens? Then the God of peace will be with you. Did, was he not with me when I was in that CrossFit? Did he not send somebody to support me? Did he not motivate me, encourage me from the inside, and help me to believe in myself? Yes, he did. That's Philippians 4 and 9. Don't stop at what you see or appears to be challenging, appears to be, I'll say it again, uncomfortable. Please don't outthink yourself because truly it's all mental. CrossFit starts in the mind. If you outthink, outtalk yourself, you won't be able to do it. But if you can stand there and tell yourself the truth, if you can push yourself, if you can start small, if you can just put yourself in position of surrender to saying, Lord, I know you'll help me through it. I know you're there with me and you'll send me support. You actually can conquer your thoughts. You can take captive and you can be stronger than you've ever been before. All right. Cheers.